WordPress is an open source programming platform for web developers. WordPress can be used to design many different web pages, but basically it was firstly designed to enable easy blogging web creation by thousands of volunteers and therefore it's free to use. Having said that, WordPress is also very priceless. What it means is actually that you do not require any sort of programming knowledge to actually go ahead and create a beautiful looking pages. There are thousands and thousands of different plugins and different themes which you can use to actually create the web page that will suit your business the best. Throughout these video tutorials, we'll go from the very beginnings and the very easiest stuff of installing the WordPress 4 to actually going into more advanced stuff and actually having a look at different plugins and different themes. The video tutorials have been designed so they can be followed by either a total beginner or a more advanced user. Video tutorials are actually on WordPress 4. However, WordPress version 4 does not differ a lot from previous versions such as version 3.9. What's happened with version 4 is that the developers have actually tried to fix all the bugs and all the problem problems WordPress version 3.9 had. So there's a lot of stuff that actually happened if you like under the bonnet, but there is not a lot of fancy new changes that you can see when you actually log in and start working with WordPress version 4. The version we are going to use in this video tutorial is WordPress 4.0.1 which is at the time of the recording of this video tutorial the latest version available. We will see how to actually go about installation of, the, of WordPress 4 which actually differs from previous versions such as version, version 3.9 and we will see some of the changes that are actually in this particular version. Like I've said, there is the difference when it comes to installation as there is different languages you can choose to have your backend and your frontend as well. Throughout the video tutorials, I will actually highlight the differences and the changes between WordPress 3.9 and WordPress 4. So if you are new to WordPress, this will be a good comprehensive introduction into this particular software and you will see how actually to go about creating your web pages. It will take you from the very beginnings of actually downloading and installing WordPress onto your server, then creating some of the databases and linking it with your online page. If you're more advanced and you have worked with WordPress before, this might come as a refresher to some of the stuff that you already know. However, as I have mentioned before throughout this series of video tutorials, I will highlight all the changes and all the differences available within WordPress 4. At the end, regardless of whether or not you have had any experience with WordPress and CMS, you should at least see the differences between this particular version of WordPress and the earlier versions. Once again, if you have never worked with WordPress before, these video tutorials will, will take you through all the processes and actually show you how to go about creating your online web page. So enough talk, let's get into it and let's see what we can do with WordPress 4. <laughs> 